Hello, once again, you are watching coding sessions of the application, JavaFX application, the Bucket Manager. Let me just call my page up. So, this is a package. I mean, this is the site of the, this is a page where you can find the documentation about my project. Uh, it's a coding session of creating useful Java FX application for managing XML files. These files consist in information of information about satellites and the result of managing this information will be output the XML files. And the XML files which produced by my tool can be uploaded directly to the satellite receiver which is currently the box 2. And once again the future of FTP is not is not included in my tool so basically anyone who working with my tool should then manually transfer upload these files to the to their to their satellite receivers L well let me just switch over to the part where I'm having my my diagram so this was my modeling idea I creating a channel class I need to create transponder class and after that I can include this stuff in my set service list in, in form of transponder list so basically this goes like this and yeah so let me just start to create a channel channel list and I need to make sure that I am working with a service type of one what is service type of one let me just quickly show you this uh, file this is a file of domain type so you see clearly that you can have many services types of the channel it can be radio it can be TV it can be a data data type of service channel and I'm actually interested only in zero one I'm actually interested in in a television service do I need to create other type of things? Mm, not. I don't think so. So yeah, I'm creating a tool for managing TV channel, TV channels. So radio is not included in my tool. I need to be straight with this information. Well, let's just do the testing first. So. I think I can actually close not needed stuff to make some room for my tests well now in model test I, I create following J unique class J unit test case and what should I test how should I name it well, I name it here like set channel set TV channel because it is a TV channel set TV channel test and this should be quite sufficient set channel TV test let me just create it here and now I just need to quick check did I did my spelling was okay uh, let me just quickly uh, channel c h n n n e l so this is spelling spelling is right and now let me do the same stuff which I have done earlier on I need to check it um, what I need to check it testing if such objects exist so yeah this should be like this i write first my failing test 
and of course I need to write here like set TV channel object pretty convenient and obvious I, I'm making sure that my intent is clear and now I just need to create a, a class let me just do here things like this TV channel let me just copy so it will be of the type of set TV channel and basically here my data type probably would have the name set TV channel here my variable name and I need to initialize it I need my setup so here is my before each well now I need to create an object here new set TV channel now I have written failing test let me just execute it yep I have created failing test testing if set set TV channel object exist basically pretty obvious stuff so now I need to what I should I what should I do I need to create a class with the name of set TV channel here in my models like like this now I am creating my class and now I should import it into my unit test and this should work basically okay so I have passing test next step um, next step would be let me just quickly I don't need this I don't need I'm actually okay so I need to open another test case wait a second set services service set services model not set TV channel test this ah this is what I created I, but I need set services and I don't like actually I don't like the name because I'm the set services ser, set, ser, set services list so I need to rename it if factor rename my test name like set services list test this will be much better all right so now I have I did rename it and now what I should do here I just need to think about my stuff so all right so here I have example of stuff which I can which I can do so let me just quickly think let's just quickly think about uh, channels which I have in my case So basically, the name of the channel can should I check for uniqueness of this channel? Mm, 
I'm not sure that I should check the uniqueness of the channel. I mean, I mean the channel can, the channel name can actually repeat itself. It can be, and can it can, it can happen that I have a channel which have the same name as a as a other channel, but have different other values like service ID and service type, and. And I need actually think about this twice. Like for example, like this. Yeah, sure. It's it's have user can assign name. So basically, thinking thinking about uniqueness of the stuff. Do I need comparator or I don't need a comparator for my case? Because in the case of set services list test, basically I am not so I think it not doesn't matter right now currently. I will decide it maybe I make I will make the decision about this later. So let me just do following. In my services list, we ha you see I have many, many, many channel lists. So let me just think about the service ID. The service ID has a uniqueness. It is represented as a. It has numbers. And it has it has some letters. So basically, it's it's a string. The service ID is a string. Actually, let me just look it up to to the domain knowledge domain knowledge file. So, what actually service ID represent? It's a SID service identification, and this is a uniqueness uh, stuff about. Uh, let me just quickly run, read it. So basically, it's a unique, unique representation of one channel. So that you can later add it to your favorite list, so that it is that's actually making. Uh, so it makes uh, actually implement it is in the right way. I mean, th this is for for convenience. So that is uh, providing this attribute to achieve the future of picking right channel into your list, favorite list. I hope it makes sense for you. And it uh, happens that SID can can be should be unique for each of the transponder. And it's a hex representation. It's a hex representation. So basically if, if somebody if somebody inputs has an input as a decimal decimal number, it should be uh, converted to the hexadecimal representation. And let's just make just check quick. I need to make a quick check. So let's just check this value. I taking this value and it should be six DCA. Can I? Sometimes it does not work. So here, okay. So okay. Now, now let's just check what it, what I get. So six DCA. All right. So basically, to make the story short, 
um, I will probably I must probably save this value as a string so let me just write a proper method test method let me just uh, check it out test and now I just need to write here it's almost the same type of test which I have written previously for my set services list test I mean from the archi architecture architecture point so now I need here to write this test check if position not now but in our case we have here service ID and now I just need to write here following check if if service ID not now and service ID and will be called from this set service CTV channel and I need to write I think about uh, get basically I need to write a method which access uh, this value and of course I have here a string and I'm making sure that my po not position value but rather service ID service service ID value is not null let's let's quick save it and now at set TV channel I need to create create this stuff what should I do well in, in order to be to make it happen I need to create a, a private string private string variable with name of service ID service ID like this and then I need to call it like I need to create get and setter like this and let me just try it out and I need to call my getter get service ID and I think this would basically yep wrong wrong uh, wrong uh, this sign so let me just run my test and this will basically fail because I did not I did not initialize the value so what I need to do I have I need to create I need to create here a value string how should I call it service input service ID service ID like this I need to assign a value in my setter service ID and I will just copy I just copy the value from my services XML does not matter which one here I copy this value and now I just to need to put here in, into my and of course it will fail because I do not have appropriate constructor for this so let me just input service ID and now I just need to assign this value to my service ID let me just do this like this alright so now I can run my test And now I have 
I now I have now passed my test. So this this was this was pretty quick. What should I do next? And let me just think about. Next in line is the name of the channel. The name of the channel. So basically I need to create here another test. Check if channel name is not 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 null. Yeah, ch ch channel name is not null. So basically, I write here channel name value. And then I just need to write proper proper stuff. So channel name value. And then I need to basically it is what I need should then I have I need to work with a case where I have no channel name in my list. This can't happen. So let me just test obvious stuff. I need to put this like here. And now isn't defined it was a type. Alright, so here I need another assert actually because I'm working Let me just quickly think about. Ah, I need to us to get to get some value first beforehand, and so here I need to create input channel name. So I will provide here some value to my constructor. And I just need I need to delete this. And I need to create a variable here private uh, channel private string channel name. So basically here I'm doing the same stuff. So basically I'm providing the needed stuff to pass my test. And here I need just to create get and setter. Now, next important thing will be like, so here I have created, I assigned the input channel name, and now I have, I can test my, my, my test, yeah, I can run my test, I just need to call the value, get channel name, and this should this should pass because I'm uh, it should fail because I did not assign the value. Right? Let's just run my JUnit test to show you what I have done. Yeah, I'm, I did not assign the value for my name of the channel name, and let me just assign you a value for this. So basically, what I can do. I have my services here, I have here the channel name, and let me just assign some value to this channel name. Let's do this. 
let's just run it and run as JUnit test. All right, so it works. Now I need to to have a case. I need I have a wish to test a case. Would check if channel name isn't isn't available and this basically is a situation uh, where I have let me just let me just put some values first and now I just have a need to um, set TV channel object and let me just put some set let me just rethink what I am actually trying to achieve so here I actually need to create another another object input uh, set TV think this would be appropriate so here I am creating and I will in this case I will use assert equals assert equals think expected expected actual and the message let me just quickly recheck it expected actual and okay expected expected actual and the message when it fails check if if a channel if a channel has no name has no name has no name So let me just expected result actual actual result and here I deleted this stuff and here well what I'm actually trying to do first of all I need to create a new new object with new and then I just need to use uh, the appropriate data type it, in my case it will be set TV channel I'm using the default constructor I need to create it I know it and I expected my expected result is a string which will contain following text unknown channel name this is I'm actually expecting and now as I expected result string actual result actual result which I'm getting from the calling of my set TV channel object get channel name and my actual result I mis misspell it result what it should be and now I need to so let me just put it here assert equals yes so basically I need to, to use assertions yeah, from the JUnit 5. Now you say this should this shouldn't work and you are right. Let me just think it should fail. Now I just need to go to the my set TV channel class, create a constructor, and this constructor actually doing following. It gives some name to the to the set TV channel. So set TV channel is this 
functional name and I give some default value like I don't know like unknown channel name all right and now it should it should pass all my all of my tests yeah so basically now I have worked out the corner case where I have a, a case where I have a channel without a name Sh it shouldn't happen but why not to include it in my test case so basically I do need to proceed further this is my testing of my set TV channel um, so it's basically plain old Java object what is next in my list the next thing in my list is service type the service type is as I said early it should be let me just show you the service type where I have here service ID name the service type in whole of my application will be zero zero one so yeah you see you can you can have it here more than zero one but I'm actually not concerned about all of these types as I said earlier earlier on I creating my tool for managing TV channels Somebody can argue that I have written channels, but I mean TV channels in this whole development procedure. So even if you have a need to manage radio channels in your buckets, I would just think it as a premium request. Just making sure that you understand what my tool does. So I'm only concerned about only zero ones all all the things I have no interest and here I should do following let me just do it so I need to check if my check if and then I need to pick my service type so check if channel service type is not now and here I just need to write my code and let me just think about it and uh, this is not a string it is actually uh, what is the most sure I think it's a byte I think it's a byte Byte, byte. Yep, I will use byte because yeah, and definitely I should make sure that I am checking checking this value that I have that I can assign um, into my channel only channels with zero one zero one because I can only work with TV channels currently. So I did not make uh, some notice about it. So, and this checking will be would happen when I work with my model service set service class set service model class. Let me just quick go to this, and I just need to write here byte, and I just write here think like set TV service service type now I just need to write a proper getter for this case and this should happen in my 
in my class and this is a channel actually I mean channel class set TV channel set TV channel class and I'm right here private byte and this should be like service type the service type is with getter on setter course source getter on setter generate getter and setter now I created it so what should do I do next I need to save it say TV channel list and then just I need to call my getter for for this service type get service type all right now now I have this situation so can I run a test it's it will it will fail so basically what I need to do input I need to write another I need to I need to pass another attribute to my constructor of set TV channel input how should I call it service type input service type service type all right so I put in this here into my set TV channel and of course I need a constructor for this okay so let me just quickly save it I need to assign some value so basically here in this case I just need to assign 0 1 and this is a corresponds to the service type which I have here in my services XML now what about set TV channel? Set TV channel here. Now I just need to write here another attribute byte input service type. And then I just need to write here this inputs. I just let me just do it right and here I'm passing this value so basically I'm making sure that I am passing my test now let me just switch over and here uh, wrong test let me close it so here in my set channel TV I am assigning some value now and now it should work yeah so what is next what is next okay now service ID name and service type are done my test passing it works pretty pretty well and I have created my channel let me just go quick over to my whiteboard where's my whiteboard here you go so now 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 I need to so this is complete and now I need to create a transponder transponder class which will consist all of the all of these values ID on it frequency inversion symbol rate pack in a polarization and so on 
and this will be this will be pretty interesting let's just let's just do it let's just do it and I'm basically let me before I do all of this I need to run all of my tests now it can I can run all of my tests let's just look it up all right 42 and all without errors very very nice as I expected to be so let me just close set TV channel set TV channel test set TV channels Service TV channel is established. I have my service ID, channel name, and service type. Service ID, name, service type. Alright. Let it just me close it. And here I need to let me think about. So I need to create another test. Now let me just create here another J unit J unit test case and this should cover my transponder so I will call it set transponder set transponder test the set transponder test goes like this once again the simple the simple stuff which I'm actually will test is follows I will test that I can testing if if transponder set transponder object exist and of course I will have here set trans Transponder object. And now I just need to make it sure that I'm calling it right. So I need to declare it. And this will have the name set transponder. And now I just use a name which I have created here. And I need to create new set transponder now I have here this thing so let's just create me appropriate class set, tra set transponder yeah. set transponder object testing if set transponder object exists so I have here my my failing failing test and let me just do it so let me create here new other and I need my class let me just copy the name first and of course I done me wrongly I need to create my setter which actually will run before each test so let me just do this like following now next step next step is to create a class alright so my class is a trans set transponder. This was I actually wanted to create the whole time. So let me just create this this class set transponder, and now I need to 
close it and now I need to import it into my testing and I think I'm clearly have a passing a passing test so I just try it out so this class is created and the next move will be after I done check if service ID not now so now I just uh, creating fields for my transponder test for my tra set transponder class so I need basically this set transponder class and what should set transponder have and what I should check it first basically I'm feeling that I need to, to okay so now it goes with the ID or need frequency yeah now it has the same stuff as as it was in the satellite XML I have all of these uh, values now I need to copy all of this and use this yeah, plugin, very nice plugin you see. I don't need additional Notepad for this basically because normally I use Notepad or Notepad++ for following things. Now I just need to make sure that I actually working with all of these values. So the next thing will be basically I need to copy this stuff and then I just need need this stuff so my transponder test let me just create it and what should I check next so let me just write here some comment right field test I see I'm almost at, at one hour I'm trying to make my sessions uh, short as possible but I, I will basically do following I write all of my tests for the set transponder because it's pretty simple and obvious and then conclude the session so in order to to make sure that I'm doing the right stuff I always have my document here and let me just compare what set set transponder ID does and what it represents. Trans set transponder ID, transponder ID, transponder ID. It's a number of transponder T, -T ID. Okay, it's a unique value which is uh, can can be per satellite so it does not matter is the uniqueness in this case doesn't matter so and you have you see it is in a hex in hex form and uh, java has basically i'm just put it as a string so I will use the string for for saving this uh, attribute and now I need to write it right so check if transponder ID not now I'm actually thinking about to look it up here set information transponder ID yeah it's uh, probably a unique value of of satellites yep doesn't doesn't matter in this case all right so what what should I do next
I think I'm, st I'm still thinking about my test for channel set TV channel test. And did I? Let me just write here additional test before I conclude with the transponder test. So transponder test, I have, I must do right here a failing test. Check if transponder ID not now. So check here. I need to work with string. Set input transponder ID value. Now I'm just calling this set transport object, and now I need to get. Just need to get some value. So this goes like this: set transponder object string set input set in now input set transponder id and now i need to to give some value before i use my constructor simple thing like this and now i need to pass some value let me just take this because I'm using strings, let me just use it like this. And now I just need to put it here. All right. So I need a constructor, not a problem at all. Create a constructor with a string. And of course I need to write here a private string set transponder I just need uh, to write here transponder ID and I need to create here getter and setter all right so my getter and setter here are created and I need to work it through so transponder ID, this transponder ID gets an input value. Now it, I can save it, right? And then I just need to run my test. Almost get transponder ID. And now I can put the appropriate value. So now I just need to work it out. Yes. All right, so it works. Uh, let me just quickly, briefly go to set channel test. So I have a strong wish to to write a test which prints me void output output values of TV channel TV channel and I need to make it here and here I'm just need to call an object sys out it's kind of obvious stuff I just need to I to call to string method I just need to, to to look up my class. I I have strong wish to look at the values. It's basically verification for for me, making sure later on I can just I don't need to execute this test any time. So that just took me following. And I basically need to ignore this test later. So let me just look it up. Ignore stuff. Ignore. Hmm. 
this is one of the tests which you can always uh, write and if you don't need it you can disable it like this now I just need to make sure that <laughs> and actually can run this test and of course I didn't wrote my to string with my set TV channel where I have my set TV channel here and I just need to write my to string here source code to string yep I just need to get all of the values here and this should be sufficient quite sufficient for me uh, what I don't like I don't like this uh, brackets it's kind of it's kind of ugly stuff and I just need to do it like this now I just need to format it so that it can be read it all right so now I can run it and I don't need this space okay so let's just run all of my tests here set tv channel service id okay it works set tv channel service id channel name let me just move some, move some stuff so let me just do some breakage of the code i just need first i just expect to to see the name first channel name then after that i'm actually expect to see service id plus and this is what i'm actually yep I need to work like this so channel name then I have service ID and then I have my service ID and after that I have my service type so basically let me just do it on other line yeah, it just it just for for better understanding. It's not so important. Just to have some overview. Now, when I have formatted right, then it should look much much better now let's just execute my test did find out that I have some okay so now I just need to run my tests okay channel name service ID ah, okay so I I have some problem with my representation set channel okay so I'm quickly view service ID service ID too much okay and here what is next service ID Channel, set TV channel, so it should be like this. Or basically, let me just do following. I think this will be better. Let's just save it and just run it.
and finally I have better better view so let me just think it uh something I don't like it after service type and I have no comma all right so now I have here this should work all right so I have what I have what I need only only one problem with the service type it should be it should be in the way the same representation as I got in my services I mean it should be like let me just pick zero zero one service type should be zero one okay so I use string formatter for this like this so that I have appropriate view when I run my test so this is just not to confuse me when I run my test now I have written my test and you clearly see that I'm getting the value so this was quite of uh, interesting stuff now I can just disable this test because I don't need to execute this test each time just for output let me just uh, run my tests and I'm running all of six tests and when I disabled I run of all of my J unit 7 basically disable means well, let me just think it out value stable let me just look it up in the documentation because some sometimes I forget it and let me just quickly look it up the example of the usage ah okay so now I just need to do it like this now when I don't need to output stuff I just run my test and nothing came came to so and when I uncomment this now then I should get some output yeah so basically I will put it as disabled it will be just ignored per default this uh, this only one output case okay well that was quite quite of a bit of information but now I see at my watch it one hour so yeah I need to conclude my session but I have a strong view to put some information through so basically I'm stuck with my transponder and transponder have quite a lot of values which I should work so the value which I have managed to deal with was ID the next in line is on it and on it is represented as a hex a hex number and I think the on it is presented in satellites XML let me just quickly oh okay so it's not represented okay so on it is a hex decimal value so yeah on it is a hex decimal value and for better things I will just uh, set check if transponder is not null to written this test and here I just need to write a test for checking my 
on it. Now I just need to write here test void check if on it not now. Pretty the same stuff which I have written earlier. Yeah, it can be can can feel quite of boring, but it is important to write it. So my on it input on it value set transporter object and now I just need to assign some values and I need to put it here this is once again a string input sat on it and here I need to set it up Is it, a, it is a hex value like this and now I need to set it up and put it into my set transponder class well now when I done so input set on it I just need to make sure that I have this data type in the in my set transponder class let me just write some value set transponder private string uh, how I should write it I just write it like uh, audit And this should be sufficient because transporter can have only one on it. So I think now it can be pretty obvious what what which code I write here for this rest of the rest of the class. And I not it's pretty pretty obvious stuff basically. Let me just, uh, I need to add it to the class, string input on it, and then I just add it to my class value, on it, okay, so now I added, assign this value to my my on it and here you go I have on it transponder ID and here I need just to call it I need to get a and get a etc they are already done so I basically want to don't want to bo to yeah I just need to write some sort of this tests and I will just now postpone my recording and show you my complete class when it's when it's done. Maybe I record the part where I have uh, a need to create where I have here where I have created here my stuff. I mean, all of these things are have same same structure it's pretty simple pretty simple in um, obvious but I need to work with channel list so I basically postpone right now and later continue recording with the channel list so stay tuned okay people let's continue <coughs> to the main part of this of this video so basically I did create it all needed attributes and if you look up my model I just need to create a channel list uh, the channel list basically it is consists a list of channels now 
the transponder ID, transponder on it, transponder frequency, and so on, are already included in the in the class. They are included in the class, and I'm tested it. I did tested fake inner polarization at null, and if you run my test, run SJ in your test, it go it goes pretty well. I using mockup here some sort of a mockup and putting through my to my constructor so this goes like this and pretty well so basically what I need to to do I'm actually need to write another failing test so this test will be like following so um, from the type let me just have a code I will be using linked list and yeah pretty pretty sure that I can re, re reuse this line and now I just need to all right so let me just go here and now I need to write a test void check if channel list not now basically what I'm doing here I'm doing here some new stuff it's it has same uh, infrastructure like I'm asserting uh, that it is not now and what I'm actually need to initialize I need to initialize a list of channel let me just copy the name of the set TV set TV channel let me just copy set TV channel I have a list of set TV channels now I just need to put the appropriate name a list of TV sat TV sat TV channels and then I creating new list and uh, no no uh, new linked list so linked list new linked list of set TV channel and then I'm making sure that I have using proper syntax uh, for this let me just include appropriate methods util lists all right, so I just put here following assertion, and now what I need to do. So basic, uh, basically, I'm checking if my list of of SATV channels in my transponder object is not null, and this is a quite a milestone in my progress. So what should I do and how I continue further? Uh, in in order to test this, ah okay, I'm, I did wrong place. Basically, let me just let me just copy this line, put it here because I will re reuse it, and here I just need to call the object. And just write like thing like that get set TV channel list. All right, and how I actually can do this now? Let me work it out. So, here I need to create private now I can reuse it my here I have my lists private and then I have here list of CTV channels like this I need to, to include util list and I just need to write get and setter Mm, 
Now, the next move will be like following. So, I my constructor expect to to get hold of list of uh, side TV channels because I have one transponder can have one or more side TV channels. But I'm using list because list can contain uh, only one element. So this is actually not a big, not a big deal. And just here use it following list of TV channels input input list. And then I just need to write here this and then. All right, now it works pretty nice in this case. And let me just write getter and setter are done. Let me save it. Let me assign proper method here. Okay. So now, basically, <clears throat> basically, what I should do next? Uh, my constructor expects to to get uh, to get the list of channels, and I can provide it like this. And let me just, and basically I need to create first running, uh, I mean failing test. So I just need to fail here. How I can, yeah. Now I can fail my check, check if channel, check if TV channel list is not now. TV TV channel, TV channel list not now. Save it, run it, and basically I'm failing through this test. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm failing. So expect, uh, expect it not now. So I need to initialize my set TV channels list. So basically I can write here some code. But should, what should I do to make? To make our life some sort of an easier life, I need a mock-up object and I need to create, I, I have two, two ways to, to deal with the stuff. I can create a text file, text based, text based file, but then I need to Basically, let me just work it out. I think I can do I can do this pretty much uh, very simple. So first, I write code here. This would be so nice. And basically, here this code I can refactor. Uh, this I will just write here: refactor extract method. In it, in it, transponder values, transponder values. Now I can refactor it like this, and next method will be like following. So I need to get hold of a list. Of set TV channels, I need to make sure that I can create this list, and I need to populate. I need to populate some elements. So, basically, basically, I need to write a method which can get 
uh, let me just ch let me just populate with some dumb dumb values and how I should how I should do it. Let me just do it with one element, basically. Yeah. List. Uh, so I need a set TV channel, and I need set TV channel. Set TV channel. Dummy. Set TV channel. Set TV channel. Alright, so I did create this class. Now I just need to populate it with some values. Let me just think of something. And so dummy set TV channel. So set. Or I just uh, I can I can use I just can use um. A, a, Oh my god, I just can use a constructor to do this to do this. So basically where is my CTV channel? CTV channel Let me just copy this line. And what I do here, and I just need to input service ID. Well, let me copy some values from my services. So basically, I'm going to copy this value service ID. Service ID. And this should be populated with a string value. String value. Now, next type. Input channel name. Input channel name. Um, <coughs> I need to stay not. <laughs> Sorry, people. I, I will stay. In, I will pick up uh, some other channel. Uh, something <laughs> not neutral. <laughs> Um, MTV, yeah, MTV is, is cool. I'm not paid by MTV. <laughs> I would happy to have a sponsor, but it's independent project. So service ID, and then I have input name. Channel input name is uh, in my case it will be MTV Live HD. And then I need to pick a uh, string, string, byte, in, input type service, input service type. And this is um, 0, 1. 0, 1. Let me just uncomment this line. You. I am creating a new. So what he doesn't like? But I'm passing actually not an int. I'm passing actually ah. I need to to make sure that I'm passing the bytes. So let me just create new byte and just pass some value basically. I don't do I know. Ah, I need to do some other stuff and so basically I need to byte and then I need to call something like parse string. I can do I can use a string representation like for example zero one. Now, so I'm creating this dummy TV channel. First of all, I need to create in the right order, like this. Then I add 
then I add to the list my dummy TV channel. All right, and I will do the same stuff once again, but but with different values. So I have something in my list. And now I just include MTV Polska. Yeah, I'm not sponsored by MTV. <laughs> I'm just using some neutral values. Uh, okay, and I need to pairs zero one. It is all right. So think think like this. You can always say, but wait, you can create a list and then add too much work for me. I don't need to to think about. I just need some dummy stuff to check my method let's uh, do the following let's delete this so I created some dummy method let me just extract here the method and I'm writing here um, what I need to write let me just think init init tv set tv set tv channel list all right so i have here my initializer looks like some sort of cleanliness and now i can verify it now all of the tests should should pass yeah passing through so if you ask me but wait what have you actually got as values not a problem at all i can do following test void output output set tv channel list simple simple method and basically I will use here the same stuff disable for the case when I need it. Uh, what he doesn't like. I did did I did I misspell it disable? I think I just uh, set TV channel, set TV channel. And I know time is overdue, so let me just uh, disabled. Maybe maybe I didn't. Okay, so now it's correct. Ctrl Shift C. Now what I need to do? Well, I need to to output my uh, actually. Wait a second. So I actually need to output the object which with, with which I'm working the whole through through whole of the project. So this set set transponder object, and I need to call to string. All right. Now, in all in order to see something good with good output. I need to go to my set transponder set transponder uh, where, where it is set transponder yeah set transponder and here let me just put it here I need to to override so resource generate a string and I think this should be sufficient quite sufficient so I don't like it how it produce my stuff. Let me show a pause. So once again, I need to have very nice output. And let me just go. Yeah. So I almost completed the set transponder plain old Java object. It is um, quite obvious and simple stuff. Uh, all of the checking of the values which I should write, I'm actually writing them in the set 
models set service model and yeah things goes like this I'm actually thinking only about that all of my things are very well structured but yeah sometimes you need to just get some work done by, by using simply simple form of data storage so now let me just do this and now here most interesting part let me just and here I need to call my to string option and here I will just put things here like this I don't know maybe more on the next line and here I just need to put to call my to string variable alright so here it goes and let me just delete space empty spaces now that I have I can reach my cleanliness alright so I put it all now I need to run only the appropriate test and I think this is actually the test which I need to run so let me just run only one test run uh, run as JUnit test Mm. Ah, okay. I disable it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And now I just need to run my test. Okay, what about my. I know, I know, I know. So set output values of TV channels set TV channel object ah, okay I'm do am, am I in the right position set TV channel test ah, I'm, I'm in the wrong let me just think what I have done Okay, that was that was okay, that was okay, and I just was in wrong class. Yeah, I need to make a break right now. So let me just be here in this class. Set transponder because I did work on transponder. All right, so now I so some I did not work it as I expected because my assignment was wasn't done appropriately so I create new channel once again and then I need to assign it yeah later maybe I just uh, do a refactoring I mean that I can pass some values and separate stuff but I don't need it to, to do it right at the moment so I just need to make sure that I can actually work that my method actually works and I getting all of the channels which I have put it Mali so let me just think it through set channel to TV so I'm currently seeing that I'm getting only one, only one set TV channel. Uh, something goes wrong. So basically, let me just think it out. Ok, 
it should add it should add uh, additional it should add next element which I have created but I'm do what I'm actually set transponder object the set transponder object list do I pass now I'm passing actually this should this should work and you clearly see that I am well I need to make it my let me just do some new lines new new line and just do here pre values and then I need to put a new line I, ju I think I will get it through so here for example I need yeah I need a new line. Uh, I think I got something wrong. Yeah, it have can happen at some point that I can. Oh yeah, so this was the mistake. Mm, okay. Uh huh. Plus, and then I need to add this new line. So now, let's just run one test. All right, list of TV channels. Uh, now I just need to make it sure that I'm doing this right. Yeah, set transponder test. Okay, so the values which I'm clearly see here, they are okay, and mm, transponder polarization. Let me just think. Okay, finally I got it. And yeah. So basically, um, the class is set up. Now I have here, let me just put it here. The so things to read for, for, read, for reading. This is not nice, but I can see that I refactor it later. As, as needed out on need need to know basis um, basically it's all works pretty well when I run the output of my set TV channel list I'm getting my transponder with this previously mock it up values I'm just mocking this up and the mocking of the set TV channel so if you have still in mind let me just close it if you have still in mind the table which I have previously uh, draw so the transponder channel the transponder class I can create transponder class and now I as a transponder class can have and, and actually having the channel lists so it all this stuff was done this connection is done now I not in, in this in, not in this section coding session but in the next one I will proceed to work with the set services list where I'm getting hold of set services list I mean of transponder list and basically basically I'm just thinking what can can I write it now do I need some checking actually 
I can run the test, uh, the test which can initialize my transponder. But I, I think I will do this in the next coding session. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty done with the stuff. Now, before I conclude, I need to run all of my tests. Let me just close the stuff which I have written. And this is all available on GitHub. If you if you like it, you can. I need to. Yeah, I need to run the tests. Now let's look at the result. Yeah, and see, you see, I have 53 tests, pretty amazing. I skip it only one at the channel, TV, set TV channel test, and this works. And here it is another proof is that you can build some infrastructure, some data structure, and you can verify the result of your data structure. So thank you all once again and till till then bye bye